Please note, this product should be installed by a professional tradesperson or competent DIYer. This video demonstrates how to install a three-door left-hand pull configuration. For five doors, it's just a case of repeating some of the steps for the extra doors. For four and six doors, you will also need to follow the additional steps shown later in the video. Before you begin, check you have your content pack and all the tools required. You will also need 75mm wood screws, appropriate fixings depending on the material you are fixing into, and some wood glue. Check your contents pack has the correct number of each component for the configuration you are installing. We're now going to highlight where each component will sit. You can refer back to this at any time by just rewinding the video. These diagrams show where the ironmongery should be located for each of the different configurations, and also depending on whether you want them to be right hand or left hand pull. Each door is 600mm wide, so ensure you have space for them to fold into your room. Firstly, check you have the correct structural opening size for your choice of configuration. Now start with the frame assembly by attaching the front head to the two jorms using the slots provided. Drill a pilot hole using a wood drill bit in the center of both sides. Screw together using 75 mm wood screws. The frame is now complete. Offer the frame up to the opening. It should just slot in. If the frame is too big, it is important that you adjust your opening. Do not shave anything from the frame. Use a spirit level to check the frame is square and plumb. Then drill pilot holes through the frame and fix the frame to the opening as shown. Slot the top metal track into the frame from the back. Locate the access hole depending on which side you want the doors to slide. Left slide hole on the left, right slide on the right. Please note, if you have a four or six door configuration, your top track will have access holes at both ends. Drill pilot holes and fix into place using 75mm screws and appropriate fixings. Fit the intermediate carrier into the access hole which will be used to hold door 2. Please note, the ironmongery is set for a left-hand slide, but can easily be reversed for right-hand slide by unscrewing, flipping and replacing the top pivot hinge. Fit the top pivot ironmongery by unscrewing the bottom, fitting the block into the access hole, and fixing the plate to the top track using 30mm screws from your pack.
The top pivot hinge should be placed 13mm from the edge of the door to the top edge of the hinge. Drill pilot holes and fix using the 30mm screws provided. Fix the bottom pivot hinge 30mm from the bottom edge of the door to the bottom edge of the hinge. On the other side of the door, fit the half offset hinge using the 30mm screws provided. Fit the half offset hinge with handle at the centre of the door using 30mm screws. Now fit the half offset hinge. All hinges are now complete for door 1. To fit door 1, you need to determine the position of the bottom pivot by placing the door up to the top pivot ironmongery and screw into position. You then need to offer up the bottom pivot and mark with a pencil the top and bottom of the fixing plate. Now unscrew the top pivot and remove the door. Using either a 12 or 13 mm drill bit, drill a hole in the centre of where you've marked for the fixing plate in line with the top pivot. Then mark up and drill two smaller holes at either side for the fixings. Fix the pivot hinge to the frame using 15mm screws from the pack. Slide the door onto the bottom pivot hinge and fix the screw bolt into the top pivot hinge. Now fit the hinges on the centre door. The intermediate hinge should be fitted 150mm from the bottom of the door to the bottom edge of the hinge. You now need to fit the drop bolt. This can be fitted to either the top or bottom of the door. However, fitting to the bottom will require you to drill through your flooring to accept the bolt keep. Mark around the drop bolt, which should be flush to the edge of the door, and use a wood chisel or hand router to chisel out. Place the drop bolt in and fix using the 18mm screws from the pack and a 30mm screw through the centre hole. Now fit the centre door to door 1. Fix the intermediate carrier, already in the top track, to the centre door. 13mm from the top of the door to the top edge of the hinge using 30mm screws. Now bring the centre door to door 1 and fix the top, middle and bottom hinges using 30mm screws. For a 5 door configuration, just repeat the previous steps for the additional doors. The following are additional steps to complete if you have a 4 or 6 door configuration. For these configurations, your top track has a double access opening. Fit the second top pivot after flipping the hinge as shown. Fasten the fixing plate using 30mm screws. Fit the top and bottom hinges as you have done for the other doors. Now fit this door as you did door 1, by determining the position of the bottom pivot.
Fix the bottom pivot with 15mm screws and hang the door. Now to add the finishing touches. You will need to do this for all configurations. Glue the back head in place using a wood to metal adhesive. Then clamp in place until set. Alternatively, you can screw into place. You then need to make the final adjustments. To close any gaps between the doors, use a flat blade screwdriver in the bottom of the pivot hinges as shown. To adjust the vertical alignment, use the screwdriver in the pivot bolts. The doors will adjust up to 15mm up or down, depending on your floor covering. Now remove the yellow safety caps from the top hardware to lock into place. Keep them in a safe place as they will be required for any future adjustments. An optional latch keep is supplied for use with a standard 65mm tube latch. To add this, offer up and mark around the position where you want it to sit. The edge needs to be flush with the frame. Chisel out 1.5mm to remove the timber and fix through. Add a decorative handle of your choice to match the rest of your home. Enjoy your beautiful new room fold doors.